I'm Lynn Simons, I'm from Creative Crafts in Winchester. We are one of the biggest art and craft shops in the area. And now I've seen a few faces that I recognise, so obviously some of you have been in the shop, you know what we've got. I've just brought a very, very small amount of the things that we sell, particularly from the art department, um, just to demonstrate, and then I hope a bit later on in a little while, you will have a go yourself. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Um, I'm going to run along the table because it's by far the easiest way to do it. Everybody, or I would hope everybody knows about watercolour pencils. Yes. 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 Watercolour pigment within a pencil, very, very easy to use, um, very useful, particularly if you're out, out sketching. Um, but the colours are, they're lovely, they're watercolour colours, very um, strong, strongly pigmented, but then, you know, they are what they are. They are a watercolour. Now, the only reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you the difference. These are lovely, soft, watercolour pencils. Oh, by the way, does anybody know what these are? It's basically water in a brush. Very, very handy. You literally just fill the brush with water and you've got a ready supply. They come in various sizes, but they're really, really good, so you don't have to have a pot and a brush. Brushes and all the rest of them get. So you've got them a sort of instant supply. Now the difference between that and the Neo Color 2 with the ink tint is you'll see straight away. Neo Color 2, the color is similar. No, I can't. I should have chosen a different one. Um, Neo Color 2 looks a bit like a kid's wax crayon. And actually when you put it on, it looks and feels a bit like a wax crayon. It's nice and soft. So you can really sort of put some colour down on there if you want to. Really get some nice sort of colour on there. Um, you can blend them dry. So you can add another colour in there. And then, uh, you know, um, they are what they are. They're, they're very nice. But when you add some water to it, wow. <laughs> the colour you get. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is just amazing and if you compare that to the watercolour pencil you can see the difference immediately and the more you work at it the more you can spread those pastels out now by the way if you sort of have got a mucky brush and you don't want you know don't want to pass the colour on but you should just squeeze it a little bit on the side and just sort of brush it out and then you've got clean clean water coming through you can carry on blending colours until you're finished, basically. Mm -hmm. But the thing to remember with these is they are a watercolour. Is that yours, June? There always has to be one, is not there? Always has to be one. I thought it was good. There is. These are a watercolour pigment, very, very strongly pigmented base, but it is watercolour. So it doesn't matter what you do with it, you can always come back and work, rework it. So you can let that dry and come back to it and still work it and spread it further and further and further until you have taken it out as far as you want to. Okay? So, you know. They're, they're absolutely super in, because they've got that nice strong pigment so you can blend it, use it, add your water to it, spread it out with lots of water to, to get your washes. The one thing that is um, really significant with Neo Colour 2 is a lot of people don't know this, is they are transferable onto fabric, which is where I get very, very excited <laughs> because that's what I do. I'm a textile artist, mixed media artist, and that's what this piece of work is which I'll refer to in a minute, but that's one of my pieces. Um, it is finished. But, um, yes, it will transfer onto fabric, and not just syn synthetic fabrics, the old transfer crayons and paints. I don't know whether anybody's used any of those, but they would really only transfer very well onto synthetic fabrics. These will transfer onto anything. So you can do your design. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not an artist. You have to... You know, you have to bear with me with this. I, 
know how to use the products and I can do it for mixed media, but I'm not an artist, so don't start talking to me about perspective and <laughs> the colours and things like that, because that's not me. Um, but you can do your design onto paper, yeah? And when you finish, and you can be finished six months down the line, you know, you can come back and add more to this, work with it again with water, do whatever you want to do. But when you're finished with it, lay it on the table, spritz it with water so there's a layer of water over the whole thing, put your fabric on top, and then iron it. And you will get a direct transfer onto your fabric. The one thing I will say is if you use a very nice quality watercolour paper like I have there, what happens is a lot of the pigment actually disappears into the paper, so it's actually quite difficult to lift a print from it. If you want to do this sort of thing, you're much better using cheap copy paper because it doesn't disappear into the paper, it stays on the surface. And then you can transfer your design. Will it what? Yes. On the fabric? I yes. Mean